Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. Today we've got something a bit different. So this is the start of budget week. So this week I'm going to review three budget drones, one of them the revisit, because I don't normally do them on my channel anymore, but because I've been asked by certain people to do them, this is what I'm going to do. I've been sent this by Snaptain, this is the SP500. On Wednesday you're going to see the Holystone HS200, I made the video a while ago, I never put the video out. And then on Friday I've got the Bugs 5W revisited, because I still think it's one of the best budget drones you can buy on the market. That's the original one with the 10 HP camera. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is the SP500, it's a G folding GPS drone, uh, brushed motors. Let's see what you get in the box. This is the outer box. So in the box you get this. Very nicely packaged actually. So you get a very detailed instruction manual that is absolutely excellent. It's one of the best I've seen on a budget drone. You get a spare set of props. You get four prop guards. Take them out. You get three chargers. So it comes with two batteries and they supply you with two batteries. See, two battery chargers. So these are the chargers for the batteries, for the drone, and this is the charger for the transmitter. Yes, it doesn't take batteries. So let's just get rid of this lot and put it on the floor. So these are the two batteries it comes with. So you get two batteries in the case. This isn't just a, an extra package that I've been sent. This is how it comes as standard. And so let's just have a look at everything. We'll start off with the batteries. So these are the batteries you get with it. You get two of these, like I said, and they are 7.4 volt, 1000 milliamp hour batteries. And I got about 12 to 12 and a half minute flight time. No wind, so I must say that like, it was a very calm day. You're going to see the video. I've already tested this. The video is going to come up at the end of this. So you get two of them. This is the controller. Very similar to a lot of other controllers on the market. Phone goes in there. It is powered by a built-in uh, lithium-ion battery. It charges there at the side with the charger you get included. And everything is detailed on the front. That's your compass calibration. You've got headless mode. You've got takeoff and land. You can turn GPS on or off. You've got return to home. The on and off button. You can adjust your speed. There is only two speeds on this. You'll see on the video I tried to go for three, but there isn't one there. Should have read the manuals more thoroughly first. So there's two speed modes and a camera button. Long press for video, short press for photo. The speed for one of these drones, I'm glad it didn't have a, every t most of these I fly, I when I used to fly them, the third mode was always twitchy, always so yawed badly, because it's only got two speeds, it behaves really nicely in both modes. I recommend flying this in speed mode too. A lot of the video was shot in speed mode too. And then you've got a set of lights that tell you different things on there, whether it's connected, whether you've hit return to home, etc, etc. Your phone extends, I have an iPhone 7 Plus, and it, with a little kit, with a case on, and as you can see, it fits absolutely fine in there. This is the drone. It has a 1080p camera that's adjustable, but you can only adjust it by your hand before you take off. It has a, an SD card slot that records in 1080p 60, 24, 0.9 frames per second with a very low bit rate of 5 megabits. Uh, you'll, see, you'll see in the video, the video is not the best, but it never is on any of these drones. Like I said, it's got geared brushed motors and it has two, actually, it's got two little lights on the front. But if you put a battery in, call it. Right, stick a battery in it. And there we go. So you can see it's got, will the LEDs come on? Do you have to bind it first? Turn the transmitter on. Hmm, transmitter was already on, so let's turn the transmitter off. There you go. So it's bound up, you can see it's got some lights on the front, two bright LEDs. You can actually see them, you can see them on the video because it's not the nicest day I've filmed in because hey, it's the UK, it never is nice, even in the middle of summer. So you've got two nice bright LEDs, you've got reds on the front, greens on the back. The compass calibration was ridiculously easy. You simply press the button in. In fact, we can do it in here if you want. Let's press the button. Till it flashes, all the lights go out, which I love because you've not got there to look. As soon as the lights come on, it's done. Up or down, it didn't really matter. Turn it, back lights come on. Compass is calibrated. That's how simple it was. I have no issues with, you're going to see in the video, no issues with toilet bowling, etc, etc. Let's have a quick look at the app. 
let's just go into Wi-Fi and you're looking for this whatever it says Snaptain it's 5G I must tell you this it is 5G and there you go Snaptain FP500 and then the app is the Snaptain Nova app start and the only thing that annoys me about the app is it only works one way so if I turn the phone around it won't come with the phone so there's the app it's a simple fare you've got a map that does actually work obviously you've got to have data on your phone for the map to work you've got on the bottom here you can see that on the bottom here you've got your altitude etc your GPS is up here you've got your GPS signal there you've got drone battery life battery life for the transmitter Follow me mode, which I did use and doesn't really work. It's kind of work, but it's typical of these drones. And then orbit mode, which I also tried. I didn't try all the modes on it because it's absolutely freezing out there. And then you can obviously have it in VR, so you can turn it and have some of the VR goggles and fly that way if you wanted. The app's pretty much similar to a lot of other apps out there, but it does work. I had no issues with it. It does have gesture control. Again, I didn't, well, I did kind of try it on before I started. Uh, at the end of the video, I should have said it didn't really work. It kind of worked, but didn't. It's very typical on these kind of drones. So that's the app. So let, when I reviewed these before, I'd always say the same thing, and that is, when you're buying one of these drones, do not base it on the fact it's going to have follow me mode, it's going to have all the other gizmos, because they're an added feature. You're buying a drone that, with a camera. The camera's not the best in the world, it's never going to be on these drones. I don't care, I've seen all these pseudo 4K things, they all look pretty much the same. You may as well just get something that's got a 1080p camera on with a low bit rate, because it's going to have that even on the these 150 quid toy drones that look like Parrot and Affies and Mavics. At least this thing doesn't pretend to be anything it's not, which is what I like about it. It flew fantastically well. Admittedly, there's no wind, but I had no GPS issues. The lock was fantastic. The app never broke up. Don't forget to turn beginner mode off, because I did. You've seen a video when I had some bounce back. I forgot to turn the beginner mode off. So it's, it is what, you, what it is. And it is a decent, and I mean this, a decent. I said in the video it reminds me of the Z5 from SJRC, and it does. It flies very, very similar to it. It's similar in a lot of ways, and that's a good thing, not a bad thing, because I always thought the Z5 was the best bush drone you could buy. This thing's great, and it does fly really well. So Snaptain asked me to review this and said that it was great. They know what I'm about, so they give it me to review, and I tell it how it is and the camera's not great, the follow me doesn't work but I never expected it to everything else, great, you'll see from the video how nicely it flies and I'll tell you if it didn't so, for me, yeah it's a thumbs up, I like it I think it's good, I'll leave a link to it down below you have to shop around for this thing, there's normally vouchers for it to get it under a hundred and if you can get this thing under a hundred with two batteries Hey, I think, forget the fact it's got brushed motors, you can get some brushed, brushless ones, but at least you know this thing flies right, and the beauty about it, of course, is you can buy it off Amazon, so if it doesn't work, or there's something wrong with it, you don't even like it, you can just send it back, they shouldn't say that, but you can, and that's the beauty of buying from Amazon, because you buy from Amazon, you've always got to pay a little bit more, I think if you're paying 10% over the odds, I think that's fine, so if you can buy it for the get it under 100 quid or on that kind of mark I think it's great so first one of my budget drones done as I say I've got the HS200 which I, and I admit I did the video quite a bit ago but I never put it up I've still got the drone and then the Bugs 5W on Friday I'll be back to normal next week but I'll probably do some of these budget drones but I'll have a week of them so I'll maybe do a budget car or something but I'll always make sure it's in a week so I won't just do a budget car randomly or a budget drone randomly there'll have to be something there so I'm probably going to do another one of these in a month or so or when if I get sent something or if I go buy something that I particularly like the look of I'll buy it or if it looks a real bargain but at the minute I'm very much into FPV the weather's horrendous so I'm now flying indoors so just a little thing, nothing to do with the video, but I've seen a lot of people mentioning they want something to fly indoors. This thing isn't beatable. I think this is the original Tiny Hawk, the original one that only runs on a 1S battery, is amazingly good for flying indoors because of the fact these bumpers are great. Nothing to do with the video watching, but I just thought I'd mention it. So, 
Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and enjoy the video of the footage that's coming up next. The Snaptain 500. So I've got to get used to flying mode 2 again because I've not done this for ages. So we're going to do a automatic takeoff. So automatic takeoff. The compass was ridiculously easy to calibrate. Oh my god, it's very stable. Pick it up a little bit. Remember what stick does what. So as you can see, it's stable. So let's see what the image looks like. Let's hit record on the video. This should be recording to the SD card now. But yeah, very, very stable. Very nice hover. So now we've got some video going. Let's see what it flies like. Yeah, it flies nice. We've got some speed adjustments. This is mode, this is speed mode two. Yeah, it's still good in mode two. Let's try it in mode three. I've just got two modes on this one. So I haven't flown a toy grade drone for quite a while. So you can, you have to forgive me if I look a bit rusty on flying this, especially because it's mode two. But it does fly surprisingly nicely. The video footage to my screen looks like you'd expect on one of these. I'm mainly interested in how good this thing flies. So let's see if it's got a return to home that actually works because some of these GPS toy drones don't. So we'll let it hover there. Let's hit return to home. And get ready to cancel it in case there's a... So we set up from the mat. It's going up to its designated height. Now a lot of these fall quite a bit away but it's going to turn itself back round again and it's going to come down I'd imagine That isn't bad at all Let's stop it there So return to home seems to work okay Not seem to have a problem with that So it's got follow me mode Let's see how well it does on follow me mode. We're in follow me mode now. Or are we? Yeah, I think we are. And it doesn't appear to be. Oh, let's try that again. Follow me. Right. It kind of is following me, I suppose. So follow me mode works like probably I expected to be honest. Get a bit of height. Okay, let's try what other modes have we got here? Hold on, there's a point of interest. Input radius, five meters. So it's gonna do a point of interest. going to go away five meters and now it's doing a point of interest which should be roughly me yeah it's working it seems to work fine so the point of interest mode seems to work okay battery indicator on the screen is now reading roughly three a two-thirds so it's designated flight time probably isn't going to be met, which I didn't really expect. So let's just stop that. But it's extremely stable. It reminds me of the flight wise of the um, SGRC Z5. Similar type of flight to that, which I, and I was impressed with that. I did like that a lot, so just fly around a little bit more. But yeah, it does what it says in the box. 
It is bad value considering it comes with two batteries. Of course, you've got to remember, you're buying something from Amazon, so you've got the Amazon return guarantee and everything like that. I have to admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think it'd fly this well. And I've spent the last three or four months flying either FPV or camera drone, so it's not like I'm comparing it to another toy drone. I think it flies okay for a starter drone. The only thing I wish the thumbs, I'm flying with my thumbs and I'm not used to doing that, I'm a pincher so I find it a little bit strange. My cat, I'm not as accurate as I could be but... Let's try another return to home before we call it a do. So let's just push it out a little bit. Let me just go into the settings here. I think let me just uh, let's change the flight maximum flight distance. So I think that's I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of footage from it and you tell me what you think in the comments down below. But as I say this is a week that I'll probably do every now and then, like the toy grid or budget drones. But it's not something I'll be doing def consistently. It's only because people have asked for certain things that I've done this, but I've actually enjoyed it, to be honest. Probably because I'm not doing them all the time. That's just... So I'll leave you with a video. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.